voice is cracked. Okay, so I'm going on a trip. We're going to Jeba and it's still very early in the morning. That's why it's looking like this. So I just wanted to do this before we start the journey proper. So <clears throat> Jeba is said to be in Niger State, but then it's very close to Kora State also. Okay, so um, we're going there to do a tour, Mungo Park, the, the, the beach, and every place shot that is there that you guys should see. So I'm taking you guys through. See you when I get there. To my face mask. I'm a very good kid. Okay. okay, but stand behind me. The, the glow there is better. Yeah, good money. <laughs> You guys, we're going to Jepper. We're going to mind your state. Don't come close to me because I don't put it on your face mask. Social distance. See the way they are staring at me. This is what I don't get you to see someone holding a camera. Hey. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. Hi. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> 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 oh, you like celebrity. Most time I'll be on your channel. So keep watch she's found in himself and just in case just in case we don't have an opportunity to do this. Keep watch is one of the first hundreds to have subscribed. He's a fan from way back. He's a fan from way back and he's a founder from way back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we are the uh, my team is my boss at work, but today. I don't know, your boss? Who's your boss? the ancient Jeva is not something that I should forget anytime soon. Today's video, guys, is me taking you on a tour to the ancient Jeba, that is Jeba North, located in Niger State, Nigeria. So, the first place we went to was the chief. Heads, please, or the head of Chamba. So, Al Haji Muhammad Zaba is his name, and he gave us some insights about Jeba before we proceeded in visiting the places that we visited. He said before Mungo Park discovered um, the ancient city in 1795, Jeba has been in existence, and then it was called Jeba, Gemba. I can't really figure how you pronounce it. That is G E B A. They modernized it to be J E B B A. And it means a nice place. It is a Nupe word. A Nupe word that. If every one of us know nice where we are moving to and why we are on the journey. No. No. Okay. We are on the great tour to Paranauts uh, with Turawa, Kamaudin, and friends. All right. So we are going to Paranauts, uh, Jeba precisely. On an adventure to do what? To know the uh, uh, to go to know the Mungo Park and the what? He also mentioned that they were the first settlers and that they have Yorubas, they have houses and they have Ghanaians surrounding them. <laughs> and that is because this place is an island. Say hi. <laughs> it said the railway which the build started in 1900 and they ended it in 1910. That is 10 years to build the popular railway. So now, Jetba is under more quality government of Niger State, while the one a lot of people misconcept it to be is the one in Kwara State, which is under the more local government area. And it said it's been governed by the Ajashe and the Offers. So, I hope I have cleared some misconceptions. So, now let's dive right into the video. Our tour guide gave us a lot of history, which I had to record and then jot it down so that I could do this. So, I hope you guys are ready for the history I'm about to take you on. History of Mungo Park. Mungo Park was a professional medical doctor from Scotland who wanted to make a name for himself and started exploring how the Niger came to life and where it started from and where it ended. He traced it to Africa and then to West Africa and then the first capital city, Calabar. So at Calabar to date, you will still find some of the stuffs in Obudu Hill. 
if you visit try to make inquiries so after spending some days in obudu they moved to the second capital city lagos and that is in badagri and then from there they moved again but wherever they stopped they always made inquiries from the chiefs how did these people leave and told them their mission for coming their major aim was to trace the course of river niger where it started and where it ended and also to know the economic source of the country of that particular location how they lived their political structure and how they were governed and then the tour guide said that they would definitely meet with the leader of any particular place source for their income their major occupation and then in his words he said that when they got to jeppa it was god that saved them because they discovered a lot of things in niger states and they could not have extracted it and he said if it was now if it was in this era possibly they would have wiped them all off because they won't discovered crude oil so he said they moved from Niger to Lokoja and then settled in a place called Lugad House. And as some of their documents are still there. It listed some of the challenges that they went through, which made it difficult for them to have survived. He said there were environmental challenges, religious barrier, language, and then the health. Because they could not speak the language of the people. They had issues with the health, mosquito bites, the food that they were eating, and the weather that they were exposed to. And then he made mention that they moved on to Patigi, which is in Yekbata, still in Niger State. And that they were stayed in a place called Gara House, where visitors stayed whenever they visited. Then he said they moved on to Kainji, where the re he said the reconstruction took place and that took them to New Busa. The real Kanji Dam is still in Kainji. And then they moved to another place. They kept on moving. No. And then they moved to a place called Karabandi. He said from Karabandi, they moved to Yeuri and then to Gundu in Kebi states. And that in Gundu, they lost two of their team due to the environmental influences. Like I said earlier, mosquitoes, the weather, the food, and then to Sokoto, and then to Nijio, and then to Basin, then Cameroon, then Mali, then Burkina Faso, then Senegal, where the river Niger started. And it said it is at Butajalos Mountain. It said the mountain is just like Ketsa. How Ketsa look? I'm going to put in an image. Ketsa, which we call the Juju Rock. So it said that the river Niger is just a gushing water coming out from the source that is a similar one to the one in the Ankari Game Reserve in Bauchi State, the swam water. And that is where the swam water that is being sold is generated from. So he said they spent a very long time over there before they continued the journey and that some of their paddles, their engine boats is still located in these places. He also mentioned that they had the most difficult time in Mali and that is because Mali has the largest landmass in Africa after which is Nigeria and that they lost four of their teammates there left with just Mungo Park and Richard Landa. And they said they were able to move back to Karabandi in New Busa village. And then when they were coming there was this heavy wind. No, no. So I heard that good ultimate search is about to start and it's looking like I may people do the, the opening already because we're going to the Juju Island and then the man the Emir told us that it's not Juju it's Ketsa or whatever he called it okay Ketsa no whatever so I'm in the bush you guys Maybe guys in the bush that there was a man called Barde who tried to rescue them. He told them to stay at his place for a period of time, but they did not listen. And that was how their canoe capsized in Karabandi. Barde informed the Emir of Bargu Kingdom, who moved to Sokoto and informed the Governor General of that time. That is Nnam Diazikwe. And then they informed their loved ones. And then they decided that, okay, they were going to move their body to Karabandi and bury them since that was where they died. But because the children wanted their place to not be in a place that wouldn't be 
visible and then easily accessible to people, they took it down to Jeba in Niger State so that everybody coming in can take a look at the place. It said they weren't able to finish up their write-ups, but the children, their grandchildren, finished their write-up and that it can be found in ICANN at Kaduna State, the museum. Now moving on to The Rock, the European name the Juju Rock, but the real name is Ketsa. He said their great grandfathers used to worship it and the place served as a security function for hunting, fishing and mining. And he said during the slave trade and then the civil war, people swam through the river and then hid in this place. I'm the one that they say she sit at the back. I don't know if the brother think that way. <laughs> he said it was worshipped annually and has seven doors. And here people still come down to request for things and said it is being answered. And that they have another little rock called Sadu, which is where the name Bodhisattva of Kwara is gotten from and that was before it was separated from Niger states and given to the Kwara states. So he said whatever you ask for in this Ketsa rock, if it's not granted to you, you will be transferred to the Sadu and they believe that no matter that problem you come with, it is going to be solved. So guys, that is all about the history of Mungo Park and then the Ketsa rock. I hope that you found this video interesting, you enjoyed watching it, you found it enlightening, educating, and you learned something new. To my next video, you guys should keep watching, stay safe, and tell me what you think in the comment section. What did you learn? What's that thing you learned new? And then this is my new friend, the Kino Boats Rider. The Kino Rider, his name is Buhari. <laughs> I know that's funny and then they, they said the river is this way because it is the raining this is the raining season and then it is coming out with full force the river is flooded but during the dry season it is the safest time to go on the boat ride because it's not as flooded and that is why the water is this colored because of the dirt it is coming with and all of that but on a normal day the water is not this dirty so I had the highlights of my Jeba trip was the boat ride. I had fun, but I want my colony boats. It's a Keno actually, the Keno ride. And as much as the water was dirty, it was looking dirty, but it's not actually. So I had fun over there and there is a lot of trekkings. You have to walk, walk, walk. So if you intend to visit, be ready that you're going to do lots of waka waka. So basically, this is all about the video. But how many years you don't they swim? You don't they do this thing? Eh. Uh, the boy you. Okay, so you did do one. So you feel swim inside here like this. Is it be your name? Ah ah. Hey Baba. You don't marry. And your children too fish swim. But you want me then fish swim. You go want me then learn how to swim. Uh -huh. yeah. um, you don't Hello!